Hello everybody, my name is JT and today I'm going to do a unboxing and review on this Wacom Express Key Remote. So this one in particular is meant for Cintiq and other Wacom products. I mainly bought this one for my um, X -Pen, XP Pen uh, 24 inch drawing tablet. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Let me first cut this open. So off the back, we have the actual uh, Express Key Remote. Let me pull this out. It comes in a nice uh, plastic. Let me just take this out. Put that over there. Um, first impressions, it feels really well made. It has a rubber back. So I'm assuming this rubber back could actually be used for um, when you want to place it on the actual uh, drawing tablet. So here, right here, this is my drawing tablet. I will uh, set it up in a minute. So we have the actual physical keys here. And if I remember correctly, there are in total of 17 buttons. Really nice, it has a, I'm assuming this is aluminum, but it feels really nice. Nice, well made. Yep, they have really good feedback. So this one you can actually use for drawing. You don't necessarily have to use this for drawing. You can actually use this as well. And in situations, maybe Photoshop, Blender, you know, that's one of the, another reason I bought this for Blender. And in the middle, uh, there is the button right here. It's a, a push button right here. So anyway, uh, let me go ahead and see what else is in the box. So we have the, the receiver here. This is what you place on your computer. It also comes with a cable. It's a, a micro USB to USB uh, connection. This looks like, a, I'm assuming this is a manual. Yeah, it's a manual. So, so the first thing you have to do is, so the first thing you have to do is um, go to the Wacom website and download the actual driver for the Express Key. So now it's fully installed, and as you can see, you have all the the keys here that you can actually key bind, and you can actually set it to an application that you want, and it actually shows you the device. So that's the application, device, the keys itself, and let me go ahead and set this up and I'm gonna try it on Clip Studio. Okay, one second. The settings, let me see if I can, as you can see, you can zoom in, zoom out. I'm actually zooming in, zooming out. So, I right here is the actual um, key. As you can see, it works. So this is touch sensitive. Let me go ahead and turn on the light for you quickly. So, as you can see here, this is touch sensitive, so that's cool. I like that. Touch sensitive. So you can zoom in and zoom out. That's a really, I thought, I, I physically thought this was physical button, but it's not. It's actually just touch sensitive, which is really cool. And the bottom part, which I forgot to mention, is actually, it's a little switch. So you click it and it'll turn on and turn off. So, like I mentioned before, it has a rubber back and the rubber back uh, is meant to be placed on the actual uh, drawing tablet. For example, it should um, hold up kind of, as you can see, kind of slips, but it's supposed to kind of hold, like right there it's holding. I mean, I personally am not gonna use it like this, but it does work. I would, I'd rather just go ahead and use it with my, my keyboard right here on my actual table. So I need to set it up overall, but overall it does a fantastic job. Here is the Express Key Remote by Wacom. And I'm using it, like I mentioned before, on my XP Pen, XP Pen 24 inch. So it works with it. So if you're looking for a, uh, a, uh, you know, if you're an artist or if you're somebody in photography, or if you're somebody in 3D art, this will work for you. And thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.